Hey guys, Ryan here. And in this video, I'm going to be covering how to add support for NVIDIA's DLSS, AMD's FSR, and Intel's XESS in Fallout 4. Now, to achieve this, we're going to be using a mod called the Fallout 4 Upscaler mod. And since this mod will use the Fallout 4 script extender, then this is only going to work on the Steam version of Fallout 4 and not the version that's included as part of the Microsoft Game Pass. Okay, so the first step is to install the Fallout 4 script extender. You can find the latest build of this on Nexus Mods, and to download it, you simply click on the Files tab, and then choose the option here to manually download. Once that's downloaded, you want to extract the archive, and inside the extracted folder, take a copy of all the files inside. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paste that into the game's installation folder. So in my particular case, it's located at C Drive, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then Fallout 4. You will paste it inside of here. You get a prompt to override anything, then I just choose the option to replace the files. The final thing I'm going to do is just create a shortcut to the F4SE loader. And I know I just put this on my desktop, but it doesn't really matter. And this is how you're going to be loading the game going forward with Fallout 4 script extender support. So the second step is to install any dependencies, as well as choose an upscaling method that you're going to be using with the Fallout 4 upscaler mod. Best one we'll download is the address library for F4SE plugins. Once again, go to Files and then download using the option here where it says Manual Download. Once that's downloaded, extract the archive and inside you'll find there's an F4SE folder. You want to copy this to a selected directory. In my particular case, I'm going to be using my Downloads folder. At this point, you can delete the rest of these. So next to the list is we're going to download the Upscaler Base plugin. Again, you want to go to Files and then use the option here to do a manual download. Once again, extract the archive and then take a copy where it says Upscaler Base Plugin. And I'm just going to move this again to my Downloads foot location. Once you're done with that, play the archives again. So at this point, we need to choose what upscale technology we're going to be using. So, for example, if you've got a 20, 30, or 40 series NVIDIA GPU, then chances are you're going to be using the DLS option. Alternatively, if you've got AMD hardware, you're going to be using FSR. And then finally for Intel, you'll be using XESS. Now in my case, I have a RTX 3060 Ti, so I'm going to opt in for the DLS option. Now you can find download links for all these libraries on the mod page for the Upscaler Base plugin. Let's go for the first option here, which is hosted at Tech Power. So once that's downloaded, you want to extract the archive once again, and you want to copy the DLL inside of the folder we created earlier, which was the Upscaler's Base plugin. And to tidy up, let's delete that archive again. So the first step in the process is now that we've installed all the dependencies and we've also chosen our upscaling method, we can finally install the Fallout 4 Upscaler mod. So as always, on the mod page, you want to go to where it says Files, and then do the manual download as normal. We'll see a prompt here that you need to install the address library as well as the Upscaler base plugin, but we've just literally done that, so that's fine. So click Download. Once again, once that's downloaded, extract the archive. And you'll see inside there's another FS4E folder. So we'll take a copy of that and then paste it into the downloads folder again. All right, let's tidy up again. Let's delete these. Okay, so now you'll see there's two folders left. You've got the Upscaler Base plugin as well as the Fallout 4 SE. Take a copy of both of those and then once again navigate to where the game is installed to. For me, that's Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. And this time we want to go one, one folder further, so you go to data, and then paste it in here. You'll likely get an option here to replace some files, click yes on that. And at that point, you've now installed the Fallout 4 Upscaler mod. Then everything's now ready to go, so let's launch the game. And I'm just going to cover how you can quickly just use this tool. So step four is to use the Fallout Upscaler mod in-game. So whilst in-game, if you press the N key, it's going to bring up the Fallout 4 Upscaler's settings menu. So from here you can enable or disable the upscaling, you can also sharpen the image or select the upscaling type that you wish to apply. In my particular case I have the option of using DLSS or DLAA. I can also choose a quality level and that ranges between performance, balanced, quality or ultra performance. Although in my particular case I tend to just stick with balanced. Of course if you've chosen FSR or XESS as your upscaling method, 
you'll see similar sort of options here as well. And once you're happy with your options, you want to close down the window. So I suppose the main question is, does it actually help with the performance at all? Well, honestly, it kind of depends on your system. In my particular case, I have several high resolution mods installed and uh, I've done some recording in more like graphically intensive locations and I found that with DLS enabled, I get around 60, 70, possibly 80 FPS. But then again, if I have it disabled, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. So I suppose in my particular case, it's not really a game changer as such, but I suppose like, like anything in life, your mileage may vary depending on your hardware. So in conclusion, the Fallout 4 Upscale mod is a fantastic way to squeeze some extra performance out of your system, especially if you're using several graphical mods, or even if you just run the game at a high resolution. But as always guys, thank you very much for watching, and if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and no doubt I'll see you next time. See you soon, bye!